Don't tell me to be quiet. He's just that person who call people. Shut up! Now, is it too such a bitch? No, no, you are a bitch. Let's talk about Erin and Uba in the new episode of The Real Housewife of New York right now. Erin and Uba are still at it, right? So last time, time we talked, Erin basically got in front of Uba talking about, I don't want your name in my map, don't talk about me, which set Uba off and she was ready to rumble with Erin. And she took the glasses and they went back and forth. And Erin is saying here, This is the first conflict I've ever had with her and it's the worst conflict I've ever had in my life. And I'm like, really, girl? That's the worst? <laughs> I love me some Uba. I do. I do. She usually is the voice of the reason, but girl got a temper. I must agree that Erin set her off, but once she was set off, it was really hard to get Uba back down. And they were driving with uh, Bryn, and she was telling Bryn about her relationship with Erin. How many times did you guys fight and make up? Fight and make up. She's calling you slut, you're flirting with her husband, you're doing all these things, and then in one minute she's hugging you and kissing you. Bryn couldn't even talk because Uba knows everything. Bryn and Erin relationship is more of a frenemy than real friendship. Like they would say the meanest thing to each other and then eventually talk about how much they love each other. That's crazy. Wherever they were going and more back and forth happen. Erin is obviously uncomfortable. She decides to leave and then she comes back and it's like, girl, decide. Are you going to be the victim or not? <laughs> and the person that really made me look at her sad eye was Sai. Sai talking about Uba is going too far. Girl, you were like screaming just so for because she wasn't saying the things that she wanted her to say screaming at that girl yelling at that girl the other day but now you want to come like you're the voice of, of reason girl shut up say is something else like when she's not the one that is in the middle of the drama she want to act like all oh, mary to shoe girl bye i was starting to really feel bad for erin i was like yeah uba is going too far and everything at some point Uba got calmed down a little bit and she apologized to the ladies. The fact that Uba apologized to the ladies, but a part of me is like, you're going to have to apologize to Erin because, girl, Erin ends up leaving and call her dad and she was crying. She was really, really sad. Do I think she was really sad? I think that Erin got mad that Uba, you know, talked to her the way she you know, you know when somebody talks to you a certain way and you're angry, but you know you cannot beat her up? <laughs> what I thought was going on with Erin. Because <laughs> there's two sides to Erin, right? There's the side of Erin that likes to play victim, and then there's the side that's going to tell people to shut up. Shut up! I'm like, what was that? I mean, I understand that she got frustrated, though, because Uba was going on and on and on and on. Uba didn't want to let it go. She really didn't. I love the way she told Sai to like, you know, mind the business. <laughs> Cause Sai talks too much. She talks too much. She wants to act like she knows it all and stuff when she really is a mean girl. Stop. I had some hope. I really did have some hope when Uba came home and she apologized to the staff for her attitude. And then Erin called her and I'm like, Erin, you're not listening to what your dad said. Your dad told you to chill. <laughs> but now you're calling Uba? Let her calm down. The way Uba talked to her, she was like, are you done or whatever? I think she said the word. And I'm like, mm. <laughs> maybe you should have waited for Uba to actually come to you instead of calling her. I think that Erin was just ready to move on quickly because she don't like to be the, outside, the outsider. Like all the ladies were playing with Uba and not really caring about her when all the stuff happened. That hurt her feeling. And Erin is one of those girls that she likes to be part of the group. She doesn't want to be on the outside. And I think that she felt that was what that's what was going on. So yeah, she's really quick on calling Uba and stuff like that. And at first I had some hope when it was happening, when they were discussing. And things got sour and I was like, man. Listen, do not pressure me. 
wanted to finish this it's later it doesn't matter what i don't want to talk later i want to okay, move how on. about we're done this is dragging out at this point i kind of felt like i'm tired of the episode this vacation wasn't fun did y'all feel that the vacation was fun like i didn't think it was fun they're like in that beautiful mansion and they have everybody catering to their 24 7 needs and getting everything that they need to have and they're just fighting all the time for like dumb shit <laughs> I think at some point Uba was acting a little bit. I think she was like, listen, I haven't even been there the entire season. I need to give the cast something. So this is my moment to shine. So yeah, I'm not that man at, at Erin. I may even have calmed down, but let's keep it going. <laughs> then in the pool, Brin is now realizing that Erin really said that she's a social climber. And Erin is like, yeah, I said it. Don't you remember? <laughs> Don't remember, Erin, because you talk so much. She about your friends. Oh, girl. And Uba is always here listening. And she's in talking back and stuff. And that's when you had the nerve to tell her to shut up. And I was like, okay, look at you. And we saw Erin going through different, you know, she got frustrated. She got angry. Then she cried again. I'm like, girl, she must be a Gemini. That was quite interesting to see right but then when she started crying i think uba was like oh no we're going too far now she's crying so uba is like let me come in let me give you a hug <laughs> yeah because like it felt like all the ladies were against her and she just didn't like it end up you know talking and Uba finally apologized. Thank God, because here's the thing. Uba went too far. She did. Come on. She did. I understand why you get angry and stuff, but then you took the glasses for 45 minutes. You did this, you did this, you did this. Then you talk. You know, I feel like after you took the glasses and you gave it back for 45 minutes, I should have just, you know, be equal and be done. But then all the additional back and forth. But Erin, she's something else. Like, at some point when... Uba gave her back the glasses. She was like, I don't want to touch it right after her. You need to touch someone else's hands before it comes to me. Oh, thanks so much, Jenna. You found my sunglasses? I'm like, what is that going to do? <laughs> That's why sometimes I have difficulty believing what Erin is about. Like, I feel like she's fake. You know what I mean? I think that when she cries, it's because she's frustrated. And I would know so because I cry because I'm frustrated. So yeah i was a little bored this episode y'all i was like was like when is it ending is it gonna end soon uh we saw a little bit more of um luxury yeah you know give me a real ass of beverly hills when they went to the bahamas oh my god that was the one of their best trip you know what i mean like give me a little bit more of that i was a little bored i love jenna and her personality i think she's a pretty fair person too who are you siding on on this situation between erin and uba i must say uba went a little too far but at the end of the day erin kind of reaped what she saw a little bit and that's it y'all for those of you that are new here hey welcome and i invite you to you know and for those of you that have been here with me supporting me for so long okay it hasn't been that long but supporting me thank you all so much and i'll see you soon bye